Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. This week I want to finish the nativity and get it grouted. And my little niece is coming over to work on a project. So I got out some pretty tiles for her to pick from and she's gonna be working on her little flower project. She made this mosaic rock a couple years ago and now it's time for a new project. Pretty, pretty ones. Mm -hmm. I do like every color and the rainbow. Yeah. Those are pretty colors. Put it in there. There's enough glue there. Boop. Isn't it that pretty? Uh -huh. be messy. Boop. Maybe this one. Is there room? Making room. Making room. <laughs> Just squish it in there. Just fill it up with mulch. <laughs> <laughs> or grout. Doesn't does it fit? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. I know you like those shiny ones. Okay, that's gonna be frozen with mulch. <laughs> A lot of mulch there. your birthday present right let's go in the closet and look at it let's see is it gonna glow Ooh. it's like look at that isn't that so pretty mm -hmm. all right we gotta get out of here yeah. <laughs> why you want to stay in the closet all day no hey lemonade time clink and drink <laughs>
these tight areas like in Joseph's lantern, I take a pick and I just wrap my cloth around the pick so that I have a soft cloth to buff it. I'll go around and do detailing on all the edges also with this. I had gold alcohol ink on this halo and it came off when I grouted. I was kind of thinking it might, but I do have this Sharpie paint pen. It's oil-based and it's gold, so that's what I'm gonna use to go over. had to go out to Michael's Craft Store to get this gold Sharpie. But while I was there, I wasn't shopping for this, but I found these ornaments that are so great with that recess in there that they're perfect for using with some mirrored glass and all these pretty beads, silver and white. I might even put light blue in them. I can't wait to do those this week too. To prep these snowflakes, I decided I want to paint the top but not the sides. I, I think it would take too long to paint the sides, but I like the idea of it being white on the top. Using Apple Barrel Craft Acrylic Paint in white. sculpt as my adhesive on this so that I don't have to grout and one tip I'll give you is to not overfill these little areas because when you put your pieces in it's going to push some of this adhesive aside and into the cracks and so you don't need too much you don't want it coming out over the top another tip I can give is that I have pre-cut some pieces to put in here because I know that I have limited time and I want to work quickly once I mix up the epoxy skull. Because I have a bunch of these that are the same, I set my pieces aside in another one and then I can just move them over when my epoxy is ready. And it's really nice, uh, especially with these mirrored pieces, I can sort of angle them differently so that it captures the light. It gives it a lot more sparkle and twinkle that way. this 18 by 24 inch hydroband board substrate for a dragonfly mosaic. Uh, but this is as far as I got. I just wrapped the edges, put the hanging hardware on, and applied a couple coats of thin set sanding after each coat. And now I think I'm gonna put one more layer, just a skim coat to make the whole base white. 
and a skim coat on the back to clean up the back. And I'll be doing the design work. So let me get after it. and sanded it down out in my garage. And now I'm back inside ready to do the design. So I know I want to do a dragonfly and I have this sketch that I have scaled up to the size that I want. I'm going to be putting it towards the top. And I know that I'm going to be using greens, blues, and purples that are iridized in the dragonfly. And then in the background to have contrast, I want to use more muted tones so that I can see the dragonfly and it really pops. Now, this may seem like a common sense thing that everybody would do, but I just want to remind you that this point is where you need to check the back and make sure that you've got the top at the top and the bottom at the bottom from your hanging hardware. Because what is worse than anything, it would be if I finished this and the dragonfly was flying down because I had the hanging hardware on the wrong end. Just double check when you're at this point before you put your design on there that you've got it right side up. Before I really begin a project like this, I check back at some previous dragonflies that I've done. This was a commission I did where the wings were iridized and I really played off that. This was a stepping stone. Again, I used iridized glass, but the body was a purchased piece of metal and the background was done with opus palladium. Then I move on to this commission, which was for a red dragonfly, quite a bit fatter. Again, I used the iridized glass, and I put a link up above to where I started this one. The background, I laid the glass with opus vermiculatum around the body and then filled in the rest. And I have, of course, my bluebird fountain. I put two dragonflies on there. I really like the fused glass dichro dot on the body. It really popped. scratch coat on the back of this, but now it's all ready to go. I've got the image of the dragonfly on there and I'll start cutting glass next week. Thanks for watching. See you next time.